Christmas is traditionally a time for family reunions, marked by delicious meals and an abundance of gifts. With the festive season nearing, a growing trend is to include furry, four-legged family members in these holiday festivities, with a seat at the table. Family Dog, a school and temporary care home for canines, transformed into doggy heaven for over 20 dogs on December 21st. They celebrated the holiday season with a special feast alongside their owners. I'm thrilled to be able to attend with Bingo. My dog had a great time and enjoyed a very special Christmas. I was introduced to the event through a friend. I think my dog enjoyed a lovely meal today. This is my first time at the Christmas party, but my dogs have been coming here for quite some time and often play with the other dog. Pet spending has risen notably in Taiwan. Data from the Ministry of Agriculture's Pet Registration Information System shows that registered domestic cats and dogs exceeded 215,000 as of November 2023. This figure surpasses the 120,000 newborn babies recorded during the same period. As fur babies become even more closely integrated in modern families, Family dog business owner Yang Fangxi decided to create a home away from home for dog lovers' pets. I had to take my four dogs with me when I traveled across Taiwan for work, and it was difficult. They had to adjust to different environments, so I opened my own store. I held a party in the first year of opening, and later, I continued hosting Christmas parties, mid-autumn festival parties, and swimming parties. After a three-year hiatus due to the pandemic, this year's event attracted many participants. A culinary expert prepared meals enjoyable for both dogs and humans, featuring faux sushi, cakes, and roast chicken. Yang notes that the dogs' daily meals are as nutritious as their Christmas feast. With dog food, it was hard for us to choose the right ones for our dogs. Then we began making dog food at home and realized it was better for the dog's health. So I began selecting the right kind of meat. Most of the dogs here have a diet of ostrich meat. Yang highlighted the health benefits of ostrich meat for dogs, especially those with kidney problems. She also made sure not to forget about dogs still looking for their forever homes. She invited owners and dogs to sign promised trees, sealed with their mutual commitment. After the event, dog owners could bring the tiny trees home and all proceeds would go to animal shelters to provide Christmas meals. In true Christmas spirit, this event goes beyond being a mere celebration. It ignites new hopes and dreams for the new year ahead. This is Vivian Xiao for TVBS World Taiwan.